Hello my dear students welcome back today we are going to learn about a new grammar lesson that is related to going to which is used in future time Let me remind you some rules of present continuous tense yes so just look at the board Do you remember how we use SMR let me give you a short recap Whenever we talk about any singular nouns or names or pronounce like he she it we should use is with them okay now next rule whenever we use personal pronoun i we should use am with it like i am a teacher whenever we use plural nouns or pronouns like we you they then we should use the word are with them i think it's really clear to you all now it's time to look at the uses of going to in upcoming examples then after i'll explain how we will use going to in the sentences hello friends i am going to swim I'm going to call my friends. Mr. Sain is going to office for a meeting. And I am going to do all my homework. Today, Bina is going to clean her house. Next month I'm going to go on holidays. Rishi is going to recheck his project. So here we have learned that we use going to when we want to talk about future actions and future plans. In Hindi you can say jab bhi hum bhavishya mein kya karne wale hain isko batayenge then we can use going to with correct auxiliary verb is amar. Okay? So it's really important to remember whenever we talk about any future plan or future action we can use the word going to with the proper auxiliary verb Now just open your textbook where you have this exercise of going to in bracket it is mentioned that future time it denotes future time read these sentences Sheila is going to knit a pullover Second one then she is going to give it to a poor child so sheila has a plan to knit up pullover and in future she wants to give that pullover to a poor child just concentrate on the next line in these sentences going to is used to refer to some time later in the future not now let's do a practice with an exercise given in your textbook So here B exercise let's read the instructions first Use going to and put the verb in brackets in the correct tense Here you have to keep it in your mind then there is no change in the form of verb What it means it means that there is no need to use ing form of verb and there is no need to use second form of verb as we have done in the past tense yes so no need to put an ing with the verb and do not change the base form of verb so you can use the same base form of verb in the sentences let's do the exercise first so here you can see in the example my parents dash move into a new house so what we have to do here as you can see subject is plural one parents yes so you have to use are with it so my parents are going to move into a new house there is no need to change the base form of verb move yes you can simply copy down the same verb move and with the correct form of auxiliary verb are Now look at the next one first one Mary what are you doing Sara I am going to paint this wall so here am is used with i my father father is singular one so my father is going to buy 
a new car next month we we shows that it is plural yes so with we we are going to see a movie this evening i think it's really easy to do this type of exercise why because you know already the usage of is am are you can simply put is am are with the correct subject with a proper verb form next one we can do is really easy my friends friends is for plural one so my friends are going to sleep in a tent tonight and next one very easy i am going to learn swimming in the holidays so it's really easy to understand how we use going to in the sentences now it's time to note down your homework do exercise of page number 119 in the english notebook so you have to do this exercise in your english notebook so we will meet you in the next video till then keep smiling keep learning thank you